it does get over to us here on the stand side. Thompson looks up, ball in towards. Well, it's supposed to go in. Niall Thompson smiling all over his face. Can't believe that, but Trail City go one nil up. Yeah, to be to be to be really fair to him. Well, not Mark. I've been films for a, a long time now, about from the Pearl City days. Um, I've been some summarizer working alongside him on many occasions. And the, the, um, what that particular season comes to mind four seasons ago now, probably, is it? When the Cornwall County under 18s got to the to the final. And I was working for, for, for Glenn, for the Hoops, with the, doing the, the scouting reports for the county that we were going to play during that run, that great run. And it was really, really uh, enjoyable with Dave Deegan and, and Mark, and we really got on well. It was something like the last, last of the summer wine, it was the three of us. <laughs> when I was going to come back into football, I want the games videoed for the progression of, of maybe the performances in players and in the team. But also, as well, the big, big fact of that is, is that, uh, that it's putting the club out there. So there was never any problem where I was looking and thinking, right, which am I going to choose? I was, I was always, always going to, going to, going to do it. Um, I know Mark was, was um, associated a bit with, with Toro City and I could see as well because he's, um, he's an ambitious to do. He was with the Southern Com Conference side, um, particularly in the, the plush surroundings at Torquay United, which I knew he loved up there. <laughs> he did. Um, uh, so I it was just sort of biding, biding my time really. Um, and, the, and and also, I wanted to, to be in a position when I knew I had a squad and a team. But then I asked him if he was going to be coming and, and, and interested in that. Um, and we uh, we we managed to, to 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 sort an arrangement and a deal that uh, suits both parties. Um, and it's um, as well as as well as that sort of professional basis uh, and business basis. I think we're. we're uh, extremely good friends as well. Um, his sense of humour is a little bit dodgy at times, but he's, he's <laughs> um, so it was just a, it, it was a, a, a real, real good match, a real, real good match. Uh, and so, of course, I'd, I'd known Mark for a long, long time. I know how professional he is and the, and the quality that he delivers. That's the way I always like to do it. anything that I do, whether it's whether it's the football, it's the training, and. and um, whether we travel away from home, where we stay, and the pre-match meals, and that type. Of, for me, it's 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 got to be the best. Or why why bother doing it? Why bother? It? So certainly for me, I think that Mark is without doubt the best. As a professionalism, things what 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 we offer at this at this fo football club, um, certainly in our league, and I know these other teams teams that do you know, they salt, salt ash, uh, Ashes TV and Mouse all do it as well. I, think. I certainly want to go down this route with the with the zoom in, the zoom out, and the. The play and things that, um, and all the graphics that, that that we can go with it, and I think where it stands out from where else. Well, I I like uh, a commentary, and it was in, uh, essential, important to me that we have a commentary alongside it. It makes it, it makes it. Um, what Mark gives us, produces for us, is uh, fantastic. Good afternoon, I'm Dave Gibbons here at the AJN Stadium at Crown Field, the home of Canesham Town Football Club, because they're hosting our very own Helston Athletic from the South West Peninsula League, Premier Division West. We're going over the three o'clock mark. In fact, it's 3.02 when we uh, kicked off here at the AJN Stadium. There's Helston Athletic in their own half, defend the goal to our left. Be, you know, we're the first to admit myself um, that you know, to to grow our to grow the fan base from where we started from, and not forget that as a Helston Football Club, we've we're 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 very very junior in a in a senior football now. Um, it's only our fifth season that we've been in senior football, really. Um, so we've come a long, long way. But he keeps putting that that message up out out there. That it is the platform. It is the the the, the media that. Particularly the young young people, guys, view now. You know, even with the, the Instagram with your with your photographs, there's a Twitter with the information, but there's the YouTube. If you want to see your, see the videos and putting yourself out there, and, and that age group demographic of that is is the young people, the young kids, and that's where this goes on to. And that's and, and um, I think it's really really important to be growing growing that 
that that fan base and that is one one area the big big factor in that just 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 stepping aside is if you want to grow a fan base and you want to grow the club and you get people more involved it's dead dead simple and it's oh, how, how do you how do you how do you promote your football club how do you make it you know, the, the people are aware of you and that there's one reason and one reason only and just one area in it and you win football matches as you do win football matches. you win football matches, you win titles you get promotions you go on people then take notice of you so um it's not a case of oh yeah we're, helston's got the name out there because we've got the snazziest and best um video graphic equipment and operator that in 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 cornwall devon um it's because we're actually also winning <laughs> winning football games and um people like to be associated with you from from there um, but it's it's it is very very important in the back of the mind that yeah um, that we we seem to be sort of um, attaching ourselves or given given a platform there for where, for what people are interested in seeing um, you know um, it, it it's really easy just to pick up your phone and take, I, I do it myself I, I I view everything on my phone I do it myself on my phone um, it's easy just to sit there you sit on the bus or a train or whatever in there. And it's not. It's it's perhaps a little bit um, easier than even just reading about something. Now it's just easy, and, and and people people like to like to be able to do that, whichever is the easiest, quickest, fastest way. They're going. Oh, well, oh yeah, I can view this. I'll view that, and, uh, and that's where we like to to put ourselves. And certainly, this platform really gives us that opportunity to do that. And then, particularly as we grow our brand uh, and our profile. Then, then I think this is this is usually usually important to us. Usually important to us. It's not only just the match match is finished. Then you might have just might have been uh, even if you're away out in the country somewhere, other end of the con country, um, that uh, you, you've missed the results or whatever other things in there. You can always click your mind and say, "Got the highlight. I can see the highlight." And actually be there. And for those. 10, 12, 15 minutes or so, you're actually there. You've seen our players and things, and for, for just those 10, 15 minutes, it really just brings it alive to you, to you there for that, for that moment in time. It's great for the players to know, oh, I can look up, and, and without a doubt, all our guys, particularly our home games, are told, some, of, some of our away games are, 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 are video, they wait for the highlights to come out. And you're not telling knowing me that they don't uh, wait with an uh, excited anticipation about seeing their goal score, or maybe that's past them. Oh, is that same song that I made? Or if that, that header, oh, that, that, would that be shown? You know, everyone likes, to, everyone likes to see yourself, you know? And it's not you saying, oh, no, I don't care. Of course you do. Everybody likes to, to see. It's just like everybody likes a bit, a bit of praise and patted on the back and things. And everybody likes to see this. And I've got, I've got some great footage. Not, not enough, not enough because it just didn't happen in those days. It just didn't happen. I got some great footage of European Cup football and things that that's there, and it and it's actually on a, on the old old uh, tape uh, video stuff. Um, nothing like we do we're doing here now. And Horn takes it. Here's Massey. Yes, goal given. Wrexham alive again. Steve Massey, for once it ran for them in that rush hour of the penalty area. And Massey rammed it home. Pedro this time couldn't bring off the impossible. And it raises this dramatic tie to even greater heights and Massey will be spoken to now for a rush of blood really. Yeah, it would have been it would have been great to, to have had that opportunity. And even as a to, to analyse, that's why I'm very much into this, and we've not done it as much this season as I thought we'd do. Um, purely because maybe there's not been an, 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 a real need for it. But certainly when I was a player and it was coming in towards the end of my career in the late 80s, um, all this game, the, vi the video of games was, was coming in. And again, um, players are always the last one, the last one that, that blaming everybody else, oh, the cross was poor, or, 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 or it went behind me, or I slipped and the thing, you know, I couldn't, and it, uh, the guy was tugging me on the shirt. Well, when it's on that highlights in the video, it, it's, not, it's actually as it is. I remember on a, on a couple of occasions, they said, um, 
I remember it was at Wrexham with Dixon McNeil, and he said, I, I didn't think you got, you, you didn't get across the, 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 the guy on the front pole screen off, you, you, you were hidden, hiding behind him, you couldn't have got the cross. I said, I did, I did, I got, I, I, went, I went in front of him, went in front of him, he said, no, he said, Monday, we'll have a look at it back on Monday. So we come back on a Monday, and he's got it all up there, and like, ah, yeah, okay, maybe I didn't get across in there on the front line, so there's no hiding, it, it's there. And it's a great tool for, um, to be able to improve players' games as well, and of course, tactically. Um, so there was always that in mind when, you know, asking the mark to, to, to come on to come on work with us, this partnership that um, that was always in view of. Not only did it portray us or give us a give us a profile out there uh, in Cornwall and Devon and beyond, and beyond, um, but it was um, also a tool that you can use to actually then just analyse and actually just help improve players' games as well. And, and and with us tactically. Yeah. Morgan Keane, he's he's running. He's got a wide runner running to his left. Yeah. It's a good effort. Yeah. That's a fantastic goal from Lewis Tomkin, and he goes off in celebration. It's a stunning strike. It's not just um, just to confine limits of of our first team because that's the important. All that is the flagship. Um, the under 18s have had huge exposure. Huge exposure with the with with. Mark's expertise and players, and we've got up to Forest Green and film from there. That was one of the funniest ones that actually, uh, and I can see it now. I can, I can see it now as I'm talking. As I'm talking, this will be you'll just hear my voice over, and Mark will pan now to the Forest Green shot where we say, "This is this is our camera," and I pan around and think, "And this is a football league camera," and it was and it's and it's literally just an iPhone. It was an iPhone, and they were filming their games. And, they probably still got the quality out of it. Probably very, very good. <laughs> but it was just, it was just really, really funny. They think, God, his, his house all singing, all dancing camera with the, the big sound mic on it as well. And they, and they pin around, and there was <laughs> on a on, on a little tripod was a, was the was this iPhone camera. Um, and that's um, and that's yeah, um, that's that's given given them uh, an identity uh, and a profile. That certainly they wouldn't they wouldn't have, have had unless you read about it either in the um, Helston packet or maybe on the website or something and then they go on and then you've got to you know find it on the website and whatever and things. Um, whereas so this is this the whole project for the whole of the club. The ladies when they won the they won two trophies last year in the cup final got to two cup finals um, and that they were they were filmed and it was yeah so it's it's great it, it, it's great for the whole whole club and this was it wasn't just the sole sort of um, um, use of, of the first team it was it was going to be for the club and the idea again is to, to actually make some promotional videos for the for the club um, what we're doing here now with the club and sort of spreading the name out about Helston Football Club um, is that we want to get out there and the more or you just keep hitting it out there and out there people will people will. Uh, Hope to take a little bit of notice of you. Um, but he said it's um, it's something that we will continue to to use um, very much. Yeah.